Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. So, Project Triangle Strategy. What a freaking working title for a game, right? We had Project Octopath Traveler, now we have Project Triangle Strategy. This is the debut demo to come out of the upcoming game. I've been wanting to check this out. After the Nintendo Direct the other day, they revealed the demo was available to play. So I was like, alright. We're finally getting to it, guys. We're finally checking it out. We're finally going to play some Project Triangle Strategy. I never got to finish Octopath Traveler. But I liked it. This looks like it has the same type of art style of that of that nature. So this is a special pre-release version of Chapters from the Middle of the Game. You'll be joining the story in progress. So I guess you'll kind of be like out of the loop of what's going on. But that's fine. We're constantly out of the loop here on the 8-Bit Eric show. So let's continue forward. And hopefully um, this, this uh, Project Triangle <laughs> it seems like it's a pretty good game. I'm up for it. I, I like the 16-bit retro Neo style type of graphics that this game presents. It's just me. I don't know. I like it. So we're going to be checking this out. Definitely seems like there's some voiceover. It seems low. Let's turn that up. So I am definitely going to be keeping my eyes on this game. Because I enjoyed Octopath Traveler to the point where I played it. I never got to go back and finish it. Um, that's been on the backlog for sure. It's just uh, RPGs tend to take up quite a bit of time. RPGs tend to take quite a bit of time up to where I'm just like, I don't want to say intimidated to play them, but at times I'm just like, all right, you know, I don't have time to sit through and play this. <laughs> but, you know, I'll give it a chance. I'm actually probably going to finish Octopath or try to finish it before Triangle comes out. So I'm guessing Project Triangle is uh, a hint towards the gameplay mechanics. Like Octopath Traveler had eight different players you can play. I'm guessing this is going to be more like you have you control three people at a time in battle or something like that. I don't know. It's also been hinted that this plays a lot like Final Fantasy Tactics. A lot of people were saying maybe this is secretly Final Fantasy Tactics or a spiritual successor to it. I have no idea, but we're going to skip a lot of this dialogue. Just because I want to get to the, uh... I want to get to the actual gameplay. Look at all this talking. <laughs> Here we go. More talking. I'm definitely digging the way the game looks. And the music, too. It, it takes you back, right? To that late... 1990s, early 2000s. Alright. Lots of talking. I know it's probably triggering some of you guys that I'm skipping a lot of this dialogue, but to be honest, I'm just here for the demo. I'm not here for the story. <laughs> uh, I can play the story and find the story out when the game comes out. Exploration. The flow of the game comprises multiple phases in between story scenes and battles. There'll be an exploration phase. In this phase, you move freely about areas to end exploration and progress. Push the L. So exploration mode has you searching and talking to people. I like how you could see cer certain stuff like fade out and come in and things like that. Let's talk to this guy. We're the last of life who keep Prince Roland safe at a time like this. And then, ooh, we get a tree. Dialogue tree. We need your blade. Let's fight together. Well said, my lord. There's hope so long as we stand and stand together. And so long as you're here to guide us, the boat should arrive soon enough. In the meantime, there's only one thing we can do and must do. So you have decisions. Obtain HP recovery pellet. I love the music. Alright. Climb up the ladder. Oh, was there nothing up there? Definitely was not. 
Interesting. <laughs> I love how you can see like the background. You see like the water kind of gets blurry and unfocuses. It's almost like a movie. HP recovery pellet. It says check on everyone. Now we end exploration and we go back to the rest of the game. I guess we're going to see some cutscenes and stuff like that. I wonder if this demo actually saves your progress for when you uh, continue a full-fledged game or not. I like when games do that. That music is pretty good, though. I can dig it. I can dig it. So we got that castle. We got the outskirts. Side story. Let's check the outskirts. And uh, see what this is all about. My lord, please reconsider. My lord. These numbers are overwhelming. We would only be sending our men to Pretty good voice acting. Do not stand idly by as the capital burns. Doesn't sound too uh too cheesy. Could you imagine voiceovering a character in a game? That's a goal for me. Anybody watching this making games, let me know. Alright, I'm fast forwarding. <laughs> Is that just a cutscene? No, no gameplay? See, that's the thing with RPGs is a lot of them are just so slow. <laughs> like, like I, I'm not that I'm impatient of a gamer or anything like that, but it's a demo. I want to I wanna play some stuff. <laughs> I don't want to watch some stuff. So I guess the only thing available is this. We're back here. All right, now we're opening it. Oh, battle time. Let's see. This is what I was the most curious about is the battle. So to me, it looks like a tactics. Yes. A tactics game. Or no, no battle. What the fuck? Is it literally like literally all I've done is just chat? <laughs> like, like, come on. When I think demo, I think straight into the action, straight into like the main core. Mechanics like the combat and things like that. Here we go. Two keys to victory in battle are position and initiative. Position and terrain can be used. Attack from behind or high. Okay. Unit placement. Rotate. Zoom out. Definitely feels like a, uh, a tactics. It doesn't seem like I could switch any of these positions. Nope. Encampment, inventory. Alright, fuck it. Let's begin the battle. Let's see how we do, guys. Escape from Whiteholm Castle. The battle begins. The gate to the drawbridge is shut tight. We must, we must find, find a way to open it and quickly. There should be a mechanism nearby. Leave our pursuers to me. Open the gate, whatever it takes. All right. Board the boat from this drawbridge and make your escape. Defeat all surrounding foes to ensure safe passage. Pull a lever. Break through the gate. So we just got to break through the gate. Pull a lever. Yes. 
All right, so. Ace Frosty Snowman. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take cover. See, I could get hit there. But, uh, secret weapon. Oh, you have a secret weapon. Okay. We'll move. See, these purple squares show you where you could get hit. So we'll move. We'll move right there. Take cover. End turn. I won't lose. Oh, we're going to attack. Here we go. 21. You want to play 21? Oh, you can zoom out like that. Zoom in. Rotate. Zoom in. I like I like this way. This way feels more old school. We'll attack. Oh, I'm on a bird. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. We'll just keep attacking the... I'm afraid this may hurt. That guy's voice was funny. From where shall we strike? From where shall we strike? Well, let's come around this way. Delayed strike. Can I attack any of these? Oh, yeah, I can. Nope, I can't. Okay, we... We will go back. Okay, let's just end the turn. I guess that guy is the healer. I haven't taken any damage yet. Definitely a lot of characters to control. Oh, there's archers. Definitely a lot of characters to hit. Shall we begin? I didn't have to cure, but might as well, right? <laughs> I get the XP out of it. Kite shield. So it falls to me. Wall of ice. I don't know what that did. <laughs> yeah, I guess it provided shelter. Flame shield. Oh, there we go. Fire resistance from that guy. We're just all bundled up. Do I have an attack that could just attack everybody at once? Take this. Thank you. I'm not, I haven't played a tactics game in a while, so this is pretty cringe for me. Let's attack this dude. Double thrust. Time to take 
flight. Kill him. Boom, baby. We got rid of one guy. <laughs> Loot. We looted. All right. Raging Blah. Raging Beast. Oh, I just strengthened up that guy. I don't even think I did. Oh. Hawk dive. That took off a good chunk of that dude's life. We'll stay it there. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? They made some more troops behind us? Pursuing party. Secure this guy. Even though I don't think I had any that much damage. Just taking me a little bit to get used to. I did a backstab. I'm about to do another one. That dude's asleep. There we go. All right. See, I'm not a P uh, RPG pro, like some people are, but I'm picking it up. So, not as tough as it came across to learn. We'll kill this guy. Got him. Blinding arrow. Let me show you what I've learned. Flame shield. Our victory is assured. Our victory is assured. I always like in RPGs when they say shit like that. Oh, my prince is about to get attacked. Can I move that prince? I don't think I could. I think I'm gonna die. There we go. Did a follow-up attack. I have no idea how I did it, but I did it. <laughs> Counter-attack. Oh, 
Let's open the gate. We're right here. There we go. The gate is open. It's open. Go. We got more guys coming. Enemy reinforcements. Great. Quietus. Do not use up a turn. Okay. Alright, I think uh, I'm going to do a poor job of protecting the prince. <laughs> Let's fast forward all that. There we go. TP, in TP injection. TP for the butthole. I could get behind this. Definitely going to take a lot more of a time getting used to it than, than rushing through a demo, right? <laughs> you won't beat me! Meanwhile, my prince is way over here. <laughs> that didn't do much. That only did like 10 x 10 hits. I'm going to die here. I'm going to I I could do this. If I would have fucking been more smarter. Oh, he could actually attack. There we go. I have to go rescue this dude. Let's just end the turn. Let's attack this dude. This is the end. All right, we got rid of one guy. <laughs> and I leveled up. That dude, I'm surprised hasn't... Oh, there he goes. I'll say I'm surprised that guy hasn't attacked anybody. Attack. I like the owl, the, the bird, the bird character. <laughs> okay. I know some of y'all in the comments are like, my god, Eric, why didn't you do that? I just died. Somebody I had died. But yeah, this is why I don't play RPGs. <laughs> Do 
we get him? I just killed that dude. Or at least I think I did. Almost did. Is this an enemy? That is an enemy. That should get him. That got him. Time to work. That got him asleep. <laughs> Critical. That'll kill him. That'll kill that guy. There we go. I cannot lose. I mean, I'm digging it. <laughs> I definitely would like to play the game from the start. I'm just going to kill everybody. Or try to, at least. Get that sword guy right there. Ability learn. He's blind. Oof. Oh no. That's rough. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart this and <laughs> do it a lot better next time I play. Okay. Interesting. I have a feeling I'm just gonna end up killing off all my characters. Oh shit! Did he die by falling off the edge? Let's see what happens if I just get everybody to the bridge. Could probably use healing items a lot better. There we go. Use the healing items, Eric. What are you thinking, man?
Oh, did I just die? Game over. <laughs> All right. I, I need definitely could retry that. But I'm not going to you, make you guys sit through another half hour. I like what I see here. It definitely has an old school feel. I'm sure this is not the whole entire demo. I just wanted to try it out. It does definitely seem like a tactics game. I like the old school feel and look of it. Um, I definitely need to practice my RPG combat skills to get through this. But I like what I see here. Um, pretty interesting. Anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one.